For as long as motorsports have been a thing, there's been plenty of what-ifs. From race winners to silly season stories and everything in between, many of these what-ifs pique the interest of both myself and many others. And of these subsections of what-ifs, come drivers that were meant to race in the series but never did. So in this video, I'd like to go over my personal favorite examples of this. These are the stories of the Never Was Drivers. The first of these drivers is Felipe Nazar, who was touted to drive the number 31 Carlin car starting in 2020. Nazar had raced in F1 back in 2015 and 16, but after he was forced to add the team in 2017, he was stuck in racing limbo for the next few years. But it was in 2019 when Nazar became involved with a Carlin team. He tested with them, and soon enough it was announced that he would drive for the team full-time in the number 31 car. He and the team were ready to kick off the 2020 season in St. Pete, right as the entire world shut down thanks to the pandemic. Nazar Nasser was still looking to race at least part-time in the series that year, but it never came to be. As of late April 2023, Nasser hasn't gotten any other offers to join the series, at least any in the public eye. With Carlin out of IndyCar for the time being, and Nasser being locked down with a Porsche Penske prototype program, it seems likely that Nasser will never race in the series, and I find that to be a bit disappointing. His former F1 teammate of Marcus Ericsson is now an Indy 500 winner and a perennial championship contender, so we can only wonder what Nasser could have done in the series series. Another driver whose plans were curb stomped by the pandemic was Jensen Bunn. Bunn had been in semi-retirement since the end of the 2016 F1 season, but entering 2020, Jensen wanted to test with McLaren's at the time brand new IndyCar team. He was scheduled to test an IndyCar a few times during the 2020 season, before possibly racing on road and street courses starting in 2021. The pandemic, however, derailed these plans, and Bunn hasn't gotten a chance to race in an IndyCar since. Jensen even said in an interview with the race that had the pandemic not hit, he probably would have raced for the team at some point, which leaves the Jensen Bunn IndyCar move as a very big what if. Switching away from stories about pandemic drivers, we now go all the way back to 2011 with an interesting character. Tanner Faust, rallycross champion, acclaimed stunt driver, and former host of the American version of Top Gear, doesn't have a track record as an open-wheel driver. But during the 2011 IndyCar season, Faust was close to changing that. During an interview at X Games 17 that year, Tanner said that he was, quote, trying to get into an Indy race towards the end of the year. I'm trying to get into an Indy race towards the end of the year. We'll see if that happens. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that this was related to the $5 million challenge for the season finale in Las Vegas. This deal would, of course, later be taken by Dan Weldon, who was killed trying to win the race in Las Vegas that year. No details about what this drive cove looked like have ever been revealed, and there's really nothing to draw off of. No other rumors of Tanner coming to IndyCar came up after this, and I doubt very highly he'll ever race in IndyCar. Who knows, the man could still do it. He has ties to McLaren, after all, and to Despite the man turning 50 later this year, he could still probably try it if he wanted to. Now that would be a cool story. Next up, we have a man discussed on this channel back in 2021, Butch Brickle. Brickle was a stuntman turned racing driver, and was set to race in the inaugural season of the Indy Racing League in 1996. But after he was injured in a testing crash at Walt Disney World Speedway, Brickle would never race in the series, and would unfortunately pass away in 2003. Brickle is widely remembered as a lovable man from the people that knew him, with many people saying something to that effect in my video about the man that was posted back in December of 2021. Switching to some more lighthearted affairs now, let's talk about the son of a former racer, Rocky Moran Jr. Moran hadn't raced in any high-level open-wheel series since 2005, when out of nowhere, he was slated to drive for the Dale Coyne team at the 2015 Long Beach Grand Prix. He had actually tested an IndyCar at Homestead the year prior, and was given his first shot in the series. However, things were thrown asunder when Rocky crashed in Friday practice. He would break his thumb in the crash, and was soon replaced by Connor Daly. Rocky Moran Jr.'s entry in the 2015 Long Beach Grand Prix would be his first and only entry in the series, as he's yet to return in the eight years since. There's plenty of other stories like the ones discussed in this video. So much, in fact, that I could probably make a part two. So if you'd like me to make a part two of this series, say so in the comments. And if you know any stories like these that you think I might not know, leave a comment telling me about them. Thank you for watching, and have a great afternoon.